So I started my channel at the very end of first year university, I think, so I think it was like 2011, and so this May-ish, it'll be just under three years. Yeah, pretty amazing. Now tell me, I mean, when did you know that this was beyond just a thing I like to do, upload videos once in a while? Like, when did this become uh, your your passion? Or when did you know that you made it, I guess? Um, well, I think from the beginning, I've always like loved doing it. I'm like, this is amazing. Like, this is such a cool hobby. And then once it eventually translated into a job possibility, I was like, this is so cool. Like, this is so amazing. But I think the first time that I was like, this is totally way beyond what I thought it was going to be is when I, the first time I got recognized out in public, they're like, oh, I love your videos so much. Like, your videos are great. And I was like, whoa, this is so weird. Like, this is not, this is like past digital. This is crazy. If you have 1.5 million subscribers, it's probably gone up since I've said that. But uh, I mean, in terms of the impact, like you're saying, you know, you were recognized, but knowing that you have that many people tuning in, I mean, is there a lot of pressure to hold on? Obviously, you want to grow your audience. Like, what, what has that been like in terms of, because this is also a business, as you said. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I think everyone's looking to, like, grow and reach new audiences to share your content with, because, like, I find that my community, we're all passionate about the same things. So it's awesome being able to connect with other people that love DIY, that love doing, like, lifestyle and making their own Halloween costumes and stuff like that. So, like, I definitely want to grow as much as possible, for sure. What do you think it is about your videos that has grabbed the audience? I mean, there's lots of people that try to launch a channel, and they aren't as successful. So what is it about yours that you think really pulled people in? I think there's two, there's kind of like a divide. There's people who are subscribed for the educational content. So the people who are really just there to see like what I'm DIYing, how I do it, the steps that I go through. And I think there's people, and there definitely is overlap between these two groups, but I think there's also the people that are there for like my personality, that like to follow me around like when I go traveling and like stay up to date with my relationships and stuff like that. So I think there's the personal element that draws them in, but then also the educational element, and then there's definitely overlap as well. I mean, you're in a unique, unique position because you just graduated, just so congratulations. But uh, going forward, I'm sure when you started university, you didn't necessarily know exactly where your career might lead, but now it seems like you have so many possibilities. What are your plans going forward? Um, I think the first thing I do, so I am headed to California this weekend to go do some collabs, because um, a lot of the girls like, in my community are out in LA and that area. So I'm gonna go do some collabs and then just get back to maybe like recuperate a little bit from recovering from finals. But after that, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna see what it's like to work nine to five doing YouTube and see how much free time I have. Maybe start doing more videos. I'm thinking about doing weekly vlogs. So we'll see. I don't know. It'll be interesting. There's very much an art to uh, making a YouTube video. There's uh, a lot of personality interjected, but how much work goes into these videos for you? Like on a weekly basis, what does your week look like? Um, well, beforehand, when I was doing, when I was in school as well, it was any time I had free time was dedicated to doing anything YouTube related. But videos can take anywhere from 20 to 40 hours between coming up with concepts, sourcing materials, filming the actual DIY, and then the editing is the biggest bulk of the process. So then editing as well, and then um, putting it out there, and then doing all your social media and stuff. So it definitely is a big process. But now it'll be nice to like actually schedule my day around that. Yeah, you'll have you'll have some more free time and a lot of a lot of decision making to do. <laughs> Um, and in terms of, you know, the support, I mean, obviously you send your kids to university or college and uh, you're thinking, oh, they're, they're going to come out of school and do this, but your parents must have been surprised as to how things have taken off for you. How did they react to your success? I think they're still at the point where they're like, how far is this going to go? Like, what else can you do? Because from the beginning, it was like, hi guys, I hit a thousand subscribers. Like, they're like, oh my God, that's so many people. And then it was a hundred thousand, then it was a million, then it was 1.5. So I think no one really knows like where this is going to go because it's been like, I've exceeded all expectations that I ever had from starting a channel, so like, who knows?